In this video, we are going to discuss about different types of operating system. In our previous videos, we have seen that operating system carries out lots of different activities, file management, memory management, device management. Besides this, the market is now flooded with many customized software, softwares that do a very specific task. These softwares need very specific operating systems to function. So, there are many different types of operating system about which we are going to discuss right now. The first is the GUI OS. As you know that initially when the personal computers came into the market, then the first operating system that was developed by the command line interface, the MS-DOS. But the users found it very difficult to use. So, Microsoft came up with Windows, the first GUI or the graphical user interface operating system. What was different here? The users did not have to remember commands to use the different parts of the operating system or open different software. Here just small small icons were given which could easily be clicked and those software or those things will just open up. So this was the GUI operating system. Examples. I, I told you Windows, Mac OS, even Linux, Ubuntu version is a GUI operating system. These have become very popular because they are very easy to use as well as navigate. Then comes the time sharing OS. What is so specific about it? Operating systems that schedule tasks for efficient processor use are called time sharing OS. In the previous video, we have discussed how the operating system manages memory time. What it does is it processes multiple tasks at the same time. So, multiple tasks are sharing the same time slice in the processor. For this, a specific type of operating system which is called the time sharing operating system is required. Here, as we have discussed in our previous videos, many scheduling techniques like round robin scheduling or shortest job next scheduling or deadline next these are the techniques that are used by time sharing operating system. Then we come to the real time OS, real time operating system. You know that many functions or many things are being done in the real life world today which need real time operation. For example, weather forecast. If you have a smartphone or even on your computer, you just go to Google and just type the name of your place and its weather, then immediately all the weather details will come. Now somebody with, who is sitting at a different place will get information about his or her own data. So that is a real time operation. The weather forecast that is currently now being done which will be different from one hour later. For that a different type of operating system which is called the real time operating system is used. Real time operating system could be single tasking or multitasking. That means it will take only one task or one job at a time or it can take multiple tasks at the same time. Then we have a distributed operating system. Now you know that the whole world is connected through a network. Our requirements of processing have also increased because we are doing many jobs that need specialized software, specialized operating systems. Now I have a system at my disposal, but the software that I need, I might not be able to store the complete software there. So what happens? In a network, there will be many systems. So what the operating system can do is, it can just distribute that software into different parts and store on different computer systems. But as a user, when I am sitting and using that software, I will feel that that software is loaded on a single system, on my system. The operating system has distributed the software on different systems, but I as a user feel that it is there on just one system. We need a very specific type of operating system for that and that is called the distributed operating system. This user interaction ensures that it is not restricted to a single system. In this video, we have seen there are many types of operating systems. In the next video, we are going to discuss some popular operating systems.